Hey, how's it going everybody? Swagkage here, and today, since you guys responded so well to the video about how strong Naruto should be without Kurama, I'm gonna be following it up by talking about how strong Sasuke should be without the Renegon. Now, unsurprisingly, just like in Naruto's case, figuring this out is pretty complicated. I don't know if I'd say that it's more complicated than it was for Naruto, but the answer in this case, at least I think, is a lot less clear. There are a lot of reasons I think so, and one of them is Sasuke doesn't really have a base form like Naruto does. Naruto didn't always have Ninetales Chakra Mode active, he could enter and exit the form at will. Whereas Sasuke here, ever since he got it, hasn't shown any signs that he's able to turn his Rinnegan off. Now, he can deactivate his Sharingan, and I don't just mean dial it back from Mangekyo Sharingan to regular, he, he can turn it off completely. So, I guess if you want, you can consider that his base form. But that doesn't really matter, at least not as far as this Naruto comparison is concerned, because Sasuke still has his Sharingan. What I mean when I say we've never seen Sasuke fight in base is we've never seen him fight without the Renegon, which he doesn't have anymore. And that makes it a lot more difficult to say for sure how strong he is. Not just relative to Naruto, but relative to everyone else, even past versions of himself. Now, there are a couple of different ways that we can look at this, but before I get into any of the variable stuff, let me lay out what we do know for sure. First of all, and this should be obvious, Sasuke can't use any of his Renegon abilities anymore. He can't switch places with people and objects, he can't use that weird space-time ninjutsu that allowed him to pass through different dimensions, and all of the classic Renegon abilities, the sort that you'd associate with somebody like Nagato or the Six Paths of Pain, like Shinra Tensei, Shibaku Tensei, Universal pull, the ability to absorb chakra, all that stuff is out of his arsenal now too. Something else that I'm pretty sure most of you already know is that when Sasuke acquired this Renegon, it replaced the Sharingan that used to be there, but he still retained all of his Sharingan-based abilities. In other words, up until Boruto at least, this was the eye that Sasuke used to perform a Matarasu. And there are a lot of people who are under the impression that now that this eye is gone, Sasuke can't use a Matarasu anymore because his other eye, the one that's still just an eternal Mangekyo Sharingan allowed him to use Kagatsuchi, or in the English dub, Inferno-style flame control. Based on what we know, this ability allowed him to manipulate the flames of Amaterasu, but only once they already existed. He couldn't create any black flames with this eye. But that seems to have changed in Boruto, because after he gets his Renegon stabbed out, Sasuke is shown using Amaterasu from his other eye. So even though it shouldn't work that way, and Sasuke shouldn't have access to any Mangekyo Sharingan powers anymore, he still does. He can still use both Amaterasu and Kagatsuchi, which is definitely weird, but like I said, it's just how it works now, I guess. So what we know from all of this is that Sasuke's arsenal and the utility he'd provide to any team while on the battlefield has been cut down drastically. A lot of the most powerful tools in his arsenal are just straight up gone now, but he does still have Amaterasu and Enton Kagatsuchi at least, so he hasn't been totally crippled or anything. Now I don't know whether or not he'll retain the ability to use his Susano because Madara was able to use his while blind, Itachi was able to keep his active without his Mangekyo Sharingan turned on. As a matter of fact, he had his Sharingan completely deactivated, his eyes were just straight up gray. And in one of the Storm Revolution OVAs, Shisui was able to activate his Susanoo with just one of his Sharingan intact. The other one had just been stolen by Donzo. But when Sasuke went blind during his fight against Kakashi at the Five Kage Summit, his Susanoo just completely disappeared on the spot. So, I don't know. I don't want to make any strong statements either way, but what I will say is that even though Madara was able to use his Susanoo while blind, he never used the perfect Susanoo without his Sharingan. So even though I'm willing to admit that moving forward, Sasuke might be able to use his regular humanoid Susanoo, it'd be a lot harder to convince me that he could still use the perfect Susanoo with just one eye. And since we've never seen anyone use the perfect Susanoo without both of their Sharingan, Sharingan intact before, I'm gonna lean towards no he can't, uh, but like I've been saying, I'll grant him that maybe he still has access to the regular weaker Susanoo. In that case, like with the Renegon, he'd have lost a pretty substantial part of his arsenal, and definitely something that I think we can all agree was one of his most powerful abilities. So even if we don't assume that losing the Renegon makes Sasuke physically weaker, he should still overall at this point be a much less capable fighter than he was in his prime. Now, granted, Sasuke didn't really 
use the Renegon for that much in Boruto other than teleportation and interdimensional travel. So he might not really care that he can't use the Pretty Path's Chakra Absorption or Chibaku Tensei or whatever anymore. Ever since Boruto started, it hasn't felt like Sasuke's liked all of the other Renegon Jutsu very much, but I do think he's going to miss Amino Tejikara and the perfect Susano. He used those like all the time. Now, like I said earlier, not being able to use any of these Jutsu anymore would still suck a lot for Sasuke, even if losing the Renegon didn't make him physically weaker. But I think that losing all this stuff and still staying at the same power level would be vastly preferable to being able to keep all of these abilities and losing the raw power boost provided by the Renegon. Now, obviously, it doesn't work that way. I'm not saying it does, but I'm just trying to make a point about how important that power boost actually is. I think it's a lot more valuable than any of the new abilities that Renegon gave Sasuke access to. Now, real quick, I am going to throw a little asterisk at the end there. It definitely depends on how much stronger you think the Renegon makes Sasuke, because obviously if it's just a minor like 5% power boost or whatever, that's that's not a big deal. Being able to use Chibaku Tensei and the perfect Susano is probably a lot more valuable than that. But assuming the amp we're talking about here is that small or even minor by any stretch of the imagination is very optimistic for Sasuke. But to be as fair as possible to anyone who might disagree with me, what I'm about to say isn't quite ironclad, but I think it comes pretty close. There are a handful of statements from near the end of Shippuden that imply, and in some cases just about flat out say, that the Renegon makes anyone who wields it more powerful. And not in a strength through versatility kind of way, but in the sense that they get faster, their attacks hit harder, that sort of thing. When talking about one of Madara's Renegon, Obito says, even this one eye's chakra and ocular powers are so strong I started losing myself. Yet I, who am not its original owner, was able to accomplish this much with just one. Now, the most important part of that statement, in my opinion, is the part where he mentions the chakra, as if to say the chakra volume was so great, or the chakra of the Renegon was so powerful, or something to that effect, right? I think we can all agree that in one way or another, Obito was saying that this didn't just give him new abilities, it also came with its own massive supply of dormant chakra that he could freely use after implanting it. Or, in other words, that having this Renegon made him more powerful. He also tells Sakura, again to directly quote him, if both Renegon are restored to their true owner, I feel no one will be able to stand against him. Keep in mind that after Madara got his second Renegon, the only new ability he gained access to was a better version of Limbo that allowed him to create more clones. And I guess Obito couldn't have really known that was going to be the case, but I don't think he expected it to give Madara access to new jutsu at all, really. I think that he was strictly talking about Madara's raw physical power when he said this to Sakura. The last thing of note that he says in this conversation is, with ocular powers, only with both eyes together can their full power be unleashed, which may or may not be that important, because Sasuke is a bit of a special case, where one of his eyes is an eternal Mangekyo Sharingan, and the other is Renegon. So this might not apply, but like I mentioned earlier in the video, Sasuke did use all of his Sharingan abilities through this Renegon, so it's totally possible that this statement applies to him as well. So what this would mean in the case of someone like Sasuke, or even in the case of Madara when he got his other Renegon back, is each eye amplifies the power of its owner by an unknown but observably significant amount. But together, the eyes provide a power boost that's greater than the sum of what they provide individually, uh, sort of like when Thanos put the last Infinity Stone in his gauntlet, right? Like, it's not like the Mind Stone was just way stronger than all of the other Infinity Stones, but rather it's that all of them had a unique trait where when they're used together, the power boost they provide to their user is much greater than when they're used individually. Now, getting back to the Renegon, Obito said all of this about Madara's Renegon, which I'd assume is weaker than Sasuke's was. Even just looking at them side by side, this seems to be the case, and it would also make sense since Sasuke got his directly from the Sage of Six Paths, while Madara acquired his through more natural means. Plus, this one Renegon took Sasuke from being weaker than a version of Madara with one Renegon and no Tintails, to being stronger than that same Madara after he'd become the Jinchuriki of the Tintails, and I know saying that might be a little contentious, but I do think that Naruto and Sasuke were stronger than one-eyed Jubi Jinchuriki Madara. Uh, Sasuke straight up blitzes him, after all, and he ran away from the fight, 
to steal Kakashi's eye so he could get his other Rinnegan back to fight them. But even if you don't agree that Sasuke was actually stronger than Madara, hopefully we can agree that the boost provided by Sasuke's Rinnegan was a lot bigger than the boost provided by Madara's Rinnegan. Now it's also totally possible that this wasn't because of the Rinnegan, but instead because Sasuke was given Sage of Six Paths Chakra from Hagoromo. And this is why I was saying at the beginning of the video that it's a lot less clear, even given all the information we have on the table, how strong Sasuke should be without this Renegon. It's impossible to say without making some assumptions how much of the heavy lifting the Renegon did in making him stronger, and how much of that was the power given to him by Hagoromo. It's also possible that the Renegon just contained all the chakra Hagoromo gave to Sasuke. There are just so many different possibilities that all lead us to wildly different conclusions about this topic that it's extremely difficult to say with any amount of certainty how strong Sasuke actually is. Like another factor here that I haven't even talked about yet is it's unclear whether or not the chakra contained in the Renegon is actually gone because it's not like the eye was just deleted, right? Like he still has it in his eye socket, it's just damaged. So if and this requires us to make a pretty big assumption to begin with. All of the chakra given to Sasuke by Hagoromo is stored in his Renegon. Then we have to figure a couple things out. The first of which being, is the eye still functional in any capacity and is any of that chakra still there? Then we'd have to figure out if Sasuke can actually access any of the chakra. And then if the answer is still yes, we'd have to figure out exactly how many of the cells were destroyed and then how many of the cells were damaged to the extent that they can't provide his body any physical energy to make chakra, and then which of the cells are able to provide some physical energy, but not as much as they could before. Hopefully you're starting to see why definitively answering this question is pretty much impossible. There's just too much we don't know about the way the Renegon works, and like I said at the beginning of the video, we've never seen Sasuke fight without it. That is, unless you count the time travel filler, which I'd prefer not to, since I'm talking about manga canon anyway, and I don't even know if that filler is canon to the anime, so we're just gonna ignore it. In conclusion, there are a lot of different ways that you can interpret this, but in my opinion, j just based off of what we know and based on the way I think the Renegon works, I think that Sasuke is at best still relative to Naruto, maybe a little bit stronger than him, and at worst, substantially weaker than him, though I wouldn't be able to tell you precisely how much weaker. So for those of you still here, sorry for the half answer. When I started working on this video, I thought that I'd actually be able to come to a semi-definitive conclusion at least, but it it's pretty much impossible to say. It really just depends on how you interpret all of the information I laid out in this video. Like I said, I personally think Naruto's stronger, at best Sasuke is still relative to him, but based on what we've seen and based on how we know the Renegon functions, I don't think that's the case. That's just my opinion though, I am not positing that as any sort of concrete fact, and you're all more than welcome to come to your own conclusions about this. Anyway, I think that that's everything that I have to say about this, so as always, thanks for watching, and until next time, take care. Yeah.